I got my Chevy work bag. I got my Chevy lunch kit. I got my Chevy hat. I got my Chevy truck. It's time to go to the Peterbilt and get her warmed up and see what they got for us today. Trucks are all looking frosty this morning. It's a frosty morning. Meander our way back to our corner. Let's see what the truck's looking like. I did have her plugged in, so she should start up no problem. Hope she had a good weekend. All by herself. Well, she wasn't all by herself. She's here with all her other, all her other truck friends. You know. We gotta come up with a good name for the truck. All right? It's important. It's gotta be good. The only suggestion I've had so far uh, is Kathy. It's a nice name, but that's also the name of my mother-in-law. So we've, uh, we're gonna have to pick something different than that. It's gotta be unique. One second, I'll get back here. Where are you? They didn't move you, did There you are, I see her. I see her, oh, she's looking pretty. She's looking pretty, all like sparkly in the frost. Nice. How you doing, girl? Time to wake up. You have a good weekend? Oh, yes. <sighs> it's fresh. There comes the sun. It's already, it's just coming above the horizon right now. There it is. Every week she comes up a little bit earlier for us. Oh, why is my pickup still idling here? I don't need this thing idling. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Save that gas for later. Okay. Here she is. Still got your horns on you. We're gonna have to do something about that. That's not gonna stay. It's funny. I didn't do that. It's funny. <laughs> I need to get an Allen wrench, loosen it, and then I'll probably just pull them right out. I don't know. Maybe they have the mirrors around still. I'll put the mirrors back on there then. But let's, uh, I'm just gonna check her oil and then we'll wake her up. She's, uh, she's still sleeping here. Maybe you're gonna get a bath this week. That'd be nice. Unfortunately, we don't yet have a, uh, a wash bay here on the yard. Uh, it's probably the next thing on their list of things to do because they've got everything else here. They just need a wash bay and I'm sure they're working on it. But for now, we have to go into Winnipeg and uh, get a PO number and we get it nicely washed there or I can, you know, take it to any truck wash, wash it myself. It's just, it's a, it's a little bit out of the way to do that. So if I have a busy day here at work, which every day is a busy day, it's hard to get to a truck wash to get her washed. All right, but whenever we have a chance, I'm gonna run over there quickly spray her down give her a nice little bath so she looks pretty but uh that, that's why i haven't washed her yet we don't actually have a wash bay here yet and it's a little bit inconvenient to go and get it washed so one of these days of this week i'm sure i'll have a little bit of spare time and we'll go get it done because the roads aren't as messy now it's it's kind of in between messy and not so messy we'll see what we can do it's hard to keep anything clean at this season it's uh everybody's got dirty vehicles this pickup i'm surprised stayed this clean already i washed it yesterday it'll be filthy by the time i get home tonight because all of this is going to start melting during the day you get it you get it let's check the oil and uh wake her up for an old truck her engine's doing very well it doesn't burn a drop of oil button her up morning girl how you doing how you doing i'm doing fine thank you thank you i had a great weekend great weekend thank you let's see I'm gonna let you cycle through, okay? I don't wanna wake you up too fast now. I know you're not much of a morning person, neither am I, but I've already had my Timmy's. There you are. There you are. Missed you.
week. Remember that trailer? Uh, we had to drop off that grocery store south end of Winnipeg. They're done with it now. We gotta go pick it up. They're done with it. Make double sure. Oh my. Wow. Okay, we'll need to uh, do a little cleanup in here. And what's all that stuff up there? I'm gonna have to ask about this stuff. I don't know if this was supposed to come off here or not. I just messaged in, ask if it's supposed to be empty. Because if this is all their stuff too, they're not done with it. But maybe that's not their stuff? I was just told to come pick up a trailer. They didn't tell me if there'd be stuff in it or not. I thought it would be empty. Well, we heard back and apparently that is still supposed to be there. So everything is a-okay. We can pull it back.
machine way down there in the bottom we're gonna deliver that to Pine Falls and we're gonna clean this trailer up nice and pretty and bring it back for the next guy so Pine Falls is cottage country in Manitoba a lot of cottagers out there it's beautiful countryside a lot of lakes a lot of good fishing a lot of good times out there all right so Pine Falls is northeast of Winnipeg about an hour and a half 137 kilometers up in the bush along the Winnipeg River. Just rolling into Pine Falls here. Or is it Power View? Or is it both? Pine Falls Power View. Played hockey uh, against these guys. I played for Landmark uh, from down in southern Manitoba. And uh, we, we played against their hockey team quite a few times. We played a tournament in this town once too. A good hockey team, but I, th I think we won gold in that tournament. Okay, so I think that was one town, and I think there's another town just around the corner here. And together is one, one's Pine Falls, one's Power. I don't know, it's confusing. We're here. There's the river right there, the Winnipeg River. A lot of very valuable land up here for cottages. A lot of money floating around this area, you know what I mean? Some areas, not here in specific. It's a little ways away from town uh, where cottage country starts, but as you can tell, right there, and that river leads right into the Great Lake. Well, not the Great Lake, the Manitoba's Great Lake, Lake Winnipeg. You get it. I'm not from this area, so I'm, I'm trying to tell you a little bit about it, and I really, I, I don't know any more than, than you really. You, Google would know. Trailer's empty right now, I'm just cleaning it up. I'm sure you've seen the ramps under the trailer more than once on my truck in the past, or in the past 10 years. Now you know what they're for. That's probably my next directions. I better hurry up and clean this thing up because they probably need me to head somewhere else already. Like I was saying on Friday, we have multiple different designs for these ramps. And these are my least favorite because uh, they're the heaviest, most awkward to move, and they don't got slats. The other ones have slats. I'll, I'm sure I'll have plenty of chance to show you the other designs down the road. We just got to tie them in there, and uh, we tie them all together. Then these things hold them all together. The other ramps are a little bit longer, and they also go back to here as well. That's why we have the extra straps in the center there, so that they don't go anywhere. But I can get these in there. But you know, making videos every day, I have to listen to my own voice a lot. And it was weird at first, but I've gotten used to it. What's new and what I haven't gotten used to yet is now I can also hear my breathing. I find myself out of breath more than I should be. 
breathing. That's something I want to change. And I want to get healthier this summer. Because just walking to the back of my truck and jumping in my trailer, jumping back down and walking back to my truck, I shouldn't be out of breath. So, we're gonna take steps this summer, literally, literal steps, to and uh, make a point of going for a walk every day after work. I'm gonna try to do this. I wanna say it's every day, but I don't wanna disappoint myself and make promises I can't keep. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my best, and I'm gonna try to get myself to a point where uh, I've lost weight, probably about 30 pounds, and where I can walk to the back of my trailer or carry these ramps around, get back in the truck, and not have to catch my breath. Because that's a little embarrassing already. I've, I've never been this out of shape, and I need to do something about it now. I need to do something about it this summer. The weather's getting warmer now. It's time to do something about it. Right, the yard is just packed like usual, but I see an empty hole right there in front of us. Do you see it? Let's put it in there. between jobs here right now. I'm expecting this phone to go diddling any second with a trailer that I'm supposed to pull out. Uh, there's a delivery you gotta make this afternoon yet. But uh, regarding the truck wash, I have heard your cries, believe me. The cries to wash the truck are louder in my head than you could ever scream in my ear. Uh, this truck does need a good wash. I've just went and talked to the guys in the shop there. I've gotten uh, a PO to go get it washed in the city. But, uh, you know, I can't be going there every single day to get it washed, right? No one wants to... Uh, I understand that. It, it, get, it would get expensive after a while just to get this thing washed every day. And I, I want to keep it clean. Believe me. So I asked permission now if, like, if I have my own power washer, whether it's an electric one or a gas-powered one, and I just have it in the back of my pickup, and I bring it here, if I can hook it onto a water supply here or something and uh, just wash the truck after my shift here. They were okay with that by the sounds of it. So I've got to get a power washer. I don't have one. So I'm gonna to have to save up some money and uh, get us a good one right away so that we can use it for other things like uh, cleaning our house down and you know our driveway and decks and stuff just so that uh, it serves more than one purpose because it'd be a little bit of a, a big purchase. There's that ding I was talking about. Hook on to 5056. Then I gotta head into Transcona. Oh, I guess I should answer. Always respond. Sounds good or okay, thumbs up, whatever. Just let them know that you got the message. All right, you guys are gonna love what I'm pulling next. Remember that 68 Plymouth we had the other day? Well, we gotta move a few more beauties today and I'm the man for the job. Here's one of them right here. I'm gonna be moving this. This has gotta go into Winnipeg. We got one more Mercedes that uh, pulling out of the yard. I'm gonna take these both into Winnipeg. But anyways, what I was excited to tell you is that I'm gonna save up some money. We're gonna get a good pressure washer, and I'm gonna bring it here with me, and we can wash the truck every day after work if I want to. I can do it on my own time. That way, I can get it up to my standards, right? Whatever those are. Day. 
fancy backpack and lunch bag. I don't want to get them all dirty, trying to keep them clean. Oh, okay. You want to help me get this door open? Okay. Oh, it smells nice in here. Oh, that air freshener. Tell you what. That there. Not there. That in there. Oh boy, I'm a little tired. It's been a long day. What's the time now? Uh, we'll check once we get into the pickup. Until tomorrow, old girl. Pardon me. You young, good looking lady. Still young, right? I'm married though, she knows, don't worry. It's a working relationship. I'm allowed to call her good looking though. Oh, we have to come up for a name. We have to come up with a name for that truck. I was talking about that this morning. I haven't thought of anything today yet. You guys got any good ideas? Let me know down below. Maybe I'll pick the best one. We gotta give her a good name. Nice. A good looking name. A good, a name that would be good looking. Counting on you guys. So you know what? I'm gonna take this bag. Put it in here so that we're not taking up the whole laundry room with it. There's the light switch. There it is. Let's put a work bag over here. I'm coming. Dinner is served, apparently. Hey guys, you smell that? I smell it. Mm. It's over here. It's over here. Oh, I think there's some pulled pork. Some, by some I mean a lot. A lot of old pork. Mm. I made a lot of, a lot of leftovers to freeze. Mm. 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 Let's put that there for now. No, I'll put it, yes, just for now. Just so I can look at it while I eat. <laughs> Is that mine? The one over there, yeah. I always nice. Put Thank you. Look at this. Just got in the door. Literally haven't even taken my work clothes off yet. Mmm. Little pork sandwich. Caesar. Mmm. Mmm. How's it going there, Diesel? Commander? Everybody? 